The proliferation of firearms and ammunition in the Caribbean region has been at unprecedented levels in recent years. To combat the scourge, the 15 member states of CARICOM and the Dominican Republic are meeting in St. Lucia for the third annual Caribbean Firearms Roadmap meeting. Regional Crime and Security Strategy Coordinator at CARICOM Impacts, Calixtus Joseph, emphasized the importance of the event. Violent crime is becoming normalized. Now, how do we reverse that trend? This is an unfortunate reality. This is a reality we need to reverse. And virtually every member of CARICOM is being afflicted by this coach. In 2000, firearms in many CARICOM states were responsible for less than one third of all homicides. However, by 2007, gun-related crimes accounted for over 70% of homicides. Unfortunately, this statistic still persists and has, to a great extent, regrettably, increased to 75%, in some countries 80% despite relentless efforts by law enforcement and national authorities. Joseph points to the glaring negative impact of gun violence on homes, businesses, governments, countries, and the region. Addressing the conference, St. Lucia's Police Commissioner Crusita Descart Pelius said the crucial battle to keep the guns and bullets away will require all hands on deck. But in 1980, cocaine was all over the Caribbean, all over the world, a delta blow on our people in the region. And you walk down the streets and you see people who are cooking had negatively impacted. And today when I look around, I see illicit trafficking of firearm is doing exactly to our countries in the region and beyond what cooking dealt to us in the 80s. And so we must put our hands together and continue our hard work to make a difference and to restore the countries in the region and beyond. And it's important meetings like this which will achieve what we want to put in place. The task of fighting crime is ever so challenging, especially as it relates to crimes involving the use of illegal firearms and ammunition and prevention, the proliferation of guns, and many of us in the Caribbean suffered the loss of families and friends through the use of guns. It's only when you have lost a family member in your, you realize how much an effort you must put to fight the scourge of illegal trafficking of firearm and ammunition. Also addressing the meeting was Director of the United Nations Regional Center for Peace, Disarmament and Development in the Latin Americas and the Caribbean, UNLIREC. Firearms and their ammunition continue to enable crime and insecurity in many, if not most, of the Caribbean states. High homicide rates, many of them committed with firearms, continue to come at a high cost to families and communities while also negatively impacting the social, economic, and healthcare systems of those states affected by the scourge. The roadmap was designed to address this issue. More concretely, the illicit proliferation transfer, diversion, and trafficking of firearms, their parts, components, and ammunition with a vision to create a safer Caribbean. We have made significant process, progress since 2020, and I would like to express my appreciation and thanks to all states, as well as partners and donors, for their dedication to the roadmap. Day two of the Caribbean Firearm Roadmap meeting will take place today, Wednesday, and will include a ministerial level meeting with the aim of adopting a joint statement to map the way forward for combating the influx of illegal firearms in the region and the negative impact on Caribbean societies. Joachim de Placy, HTS News Force.